Greetings, citizens! Just a guy has arrived, and this is more That Which Binds Us, and you can check it out for yourself in the description below. There is a link to the Steam store page there, and uh, last time, our hero and heroine, Ivalise and Idris, that's not in the right order, but whatever, went on a fancy little date talking about their Christmas plans. Oh, it was so adorable, but now we've returned to Idris's office, and there's something mysterious underneath Idris's door. Let's find out what it is right now. It looks like someone tried to slide a piece of paper under the door. Let's see what it is. I I'll get it. What? What the hell is this? Step aside or else you won't be able to walk away. Are, are you being blackmailed? Give that to me. Jeez, look at that face. He's even paler than the other night. You're, you're getting blackmailed, aren't you? Who did you piss off? Just go home. It's probably just a prank. There, there, there's a bunch of kids around here who spend more time out of school than they should. I'll call you later, okay? Uh, have a great Christmas. Bye! Hmm. Just slammed the door in my face. Do I even want to know who's blackmailing him? Wait, yes, yes I do. I, I like spending time with him. It feels right. And we're practically dating. So if I'm going to be around him, then I need to know at least some of what he's doing on the side. But he won't even give me a straight answer. I doubt he'll answer the ninth text if he didn't answer the other eight. <sighs> I guess I could sleep on it. It's going to be a while until I see him again. Maybe that'll give him some time to think on it. Some time to think it out, or come up with a convenient excuse. Transition! Um, the holidays. The wonderful time of year I have to deal with both impatient asshole customers and nosy relatives. When you're getting married, haven't you found you haven't you found you a nice man yet? Do you want to be a retail worker your entire life? Can't I just say hi, eat and leave? Alright, maybe that'd be a bit rude, but still, do I have to play 20 questions to people who don't even talk to me outside of holidays? There's a fine line between making small talk and asking enough questions to fill out bank security answers. At least I'll mainly stay with my mom and dad. Maybe they won't drive me up the wall. Maybe it would have been nice to stay home just this once. Oh, look who it is. Yes? Ugh. Don't call me if you don't have anything to say. Merry Christmas. Bye. W wait all right, so I can't complete, be completely honest with you, but I'd like to be. That note, you weren't supposed to see it. Yeah, I, I kind of figured. There's some bad guys that'd like me gone. Let's just say I got in over my head a few years back. And now some of the people I work for have enemies. B but it'll be all over soon, I promise. So I'd like to apologize. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. I guess you're off the hook, really? But you're still on thin ice. I thought it was already on thin ice! Uh, what, thank you! Wasn't I on thin ice already before? Uh-oh, is the ice starting to crack? It, it actually is a bit. It snowed here last night. Way to change the subject quickly. Aw, oh, we didn't get a lot of snow. Guess you should have stayed home. I think I just got their voices backwards, oh well. Why, I miss quality time with my family, who I rarely get to see together all together. I've only tried rescheduling my flight back to be blah, on my flight back to be sooner, like three times. At some point, you've just got to give up and take a cab back. That costs more than the airfare. I'd cover it. Mm. Aw, is someone heartsick? Uh, but I've got to admit, that sounds a bit tempting. But I'm not supposed to see you for another week. Frankly, I don't think you can last that long. Please, you're lucky I even thought to call you. Oh, buddy, that is, I don't know, you're, you're lucky she just got you out of the doghouse. I mean, I don't know, man. How's the weather there? I didn't know you called just to make small talk. You're the one that already sounds ready to get off the phone. Well, you'd better get off the phone unless you want rumors to spread. Oh, and what kind of rumors would my parents spread? She's so lovesick, she can't stay away for the holidays. He must be horrible if we can't meet him. Really? I was thinking rumors like that might be spread about somebody else. And who'd spread them? I don't know, your neighbors? People who've wiretapped into this call? 
doesn't sound like a problem I have to worry about then. Bye, Idris. Bye, Eva. Merry Christmas. <sighs> oh, what am I going to do with him? Home sweet home. Looks like the only thing that's changed since I left was the amount of dust. And, oh wow, I've gotta dust everything. Jeez, I wasn't gone that long. I hope the filters are working in the AC. That'd be a great Christmas present. Hey, landlord, can you replace the filters? Happy New Year's! At least the heater's working. But now, the worst part. Taking down all the Christmas decorations. Ugh. There's just a few days left until New Year's Eve. I'm a bit surprised he hasn't called me again since Christmas. He seemed so lonely. Maybe he didn't send Christmas all by himself, hopefully. I have a nice dress for our dinner, at least. Uh, maybe I should get my hair done. It's been a while since I went to the hairdresser. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I got a small haircut before work tomorrow. But what about my nails? It's been a while since I stopped biting them, but they're still not that great. <gasps> What am I worrying about? This is just going to be like every other single outing the past few months. It's not going to be different just because it's the holidays, right? Oh, why can't we get more days off for Christmas? It really sucks having to go back after Christmas just to get two more days off for New Year's. Go back to work after Christmas just to get two more days off for New Year's. Why can't we just get the whole week off? If you're not in public school anymore, how else are they going to make money? How else am I supposed to keep my sanity while working returns? Half of them didn't even have receipts but wanted cash back. Ugh, it's things like that that turn people into Grinches. Oh, lighten up. You spent Christmas, Chris, blah, you spent Christmas with uh, Paul, right? Was it Paul? Or maybe Jerry? Or Ralph? I can't keep up. Of course I did. We went to his parents' house to eat lunch Christmas Day. And then went to my parents' house that night, but we spent Christmas Eve together at his house. His house is so nice looking. For his Christmas tree, he chopped one down himself from the lumberyard and put it in his living room. It's gorgeous. Don't you have to plant Christmas trees and then wait a few years before they're ready? That sounds nice. So tell me how you and this mystery guy's Christmas went. It uh, didn't happen. I went to my mom's place and he did something else. What? You broke up already? I did not say anything remotely similar to that. Why didn't you spend it together then? Because I have my own plans and he had his. Besides, it's not even that serious. Yet. Oh, I can't believe you stood him up. I did not. It's not like there won't be more things in the future. Oh, is that why you were late this morning? Not my fault the hairstylist didn't want to hurry up. Oh, is that where you went? Sorry, I couldn't tell. Are you done with your nachos yet? Ugh, I can't eat another bite of them. I've been done. That's what you get for ordering nachos at an Italian restaurant. They shouldn't even serve them if they're not going to try. They're not going to try because they know there will always be the people like you who buy them anyway. Now, come on, let's get the rest of this shift over with. Phew. Yes, it's good news! Good news! Maybe all of this will be over soon, sir! You guys keep saying that, but for the first time in a while, I'm actually starting to believe it. Okay. Alrighty, he'll be here any minute now. Just one last check. Dress is unwrinkled. Nice! Hair? Well, same as always. Why did I tip that stylist again? Anyway... Nails look nice, shoes somewhat comfy unless I have to run in them, then all bets are off. But I think I'm ready. A new year in just a few hours. It's funny how simply adding a number to the end of the calendar motivates and moves everybody to celebrate. So many people want to throw out the old and embrace the new, as if the world suddenly changes overnight every December 31st. I've never been one to do New Year's resolutions, but it's a nice thought to be so motivated to ditch bad habits and bring in good ones. Uh, maybe next year. I have no clue what I'd even do as a resolution this this year. Next, ah, uh, there he is. Well, look who's all dolled up. You could say the same about yourself. 
It is a fancy restaurant, you know. I'm surprised you could even get seats. I figured it would have been all booked up for a few months. I might know a person or two. Who would you know there? A busboy, maybe? Uh, come on, we should get going before the traffic gets backed up. Plus, it's common courtesy to show up early to fancy restaurants. I never knew someone was such a connoisseur of high-class places. I used to be more into them, but it gets boring going all by yourself. Well, now you won't have to go all by yourself. Let's go, then. Wow, they sure call this high-class dining for a reason. High vaulted ceilings, tables dimly lit by candlelight, and windows covering nearly every wall. Rooftop flops are no joke. It's by far the most romantic place I've ever been. I've never been able to go somewhere like this. I mean, with my savings, I could probably afford a place like this, but I hear booking is a nightmare. Even if I got a seat, why would I care? It'd be a single seat, just by myself, staring out the window at my own reflection. I could do that while eating ramen in front of the mirror at home. Still, this place is gorgeous. A slight knot on my chest is eased up, and I feel better holding onto his arm as we walk in. Idris, party of two. Right this way, sir. Well, how do you like it here? How does Ava like it here? We'll have to find out next time on that which binds us, because for now, I'm afraid that this is farewell.